about to raid this house. Let's go check it out. Open up, skincare police. Shout out to all the girlfriends who watch my videos who get their boyfriends into a skincare mm -hmm. routine. You're doing the Lord's work. Hey, <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not a sunscreen. Right. Do you wear sunscreen? I don't wear sunscreen. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. You saw the title of this video. No, you did not read it wrong. Shit is about to go down. That was me using my straight voice. <laughs> I'm going to be face to face with straight men and roast the fuck out of their skincare routine. Boom! Now some of you might be like, Hiram, what did straight men do to you? A lot. They fucked me up. If I could show you how many straight men are in my comment section calling me gay for using a skincare routine, I mean, they're not wrong. But if you only knew how many straight men are pressed about using skincare and how that comes off as gay, how that comes off as feminine, how that minimizes their masculinity, it's a pretty disappointing. But truthfully, I don't have a problem with heterosexual men at all. It's the straight guys I have a problem with. If you know, you know. <laughs> all joking aside, I thought it would be super fun to react to some straight guys' skincare routines that I know and see how they're doing, what their routine looks like, what products they use, how consistent they are. And I do this primarily because first off, I'm genuinely interested. In our culture, we're still getting to the point where using a skincare routine is still being normalized by men. And finally, I wanna make this video to show any guys who are watching out there that having a skincare routine is completely normal. It's what you should be doing. It's normal it's natural and no one should be excluded from that so let's go okay guys we're on location we're about to raid this house where i heard a straight guy has a skincare routine let's go check it out open up skincare police hello hello hi <laughs> everyone this is kavena this is mia's fiance mia is on my team kavena introduce yourself hi i'm kavena I'm Mia's fiance. <laughs> Mia gave me permission to roast this man's skincare routine. As a straight man, I'm genuinely curious to see what your skincare routine looks like. <laughs> I feel like you'd be impressed because having Mia on my team yeah, also helps. Yeah, that's true. If his skincare routine isn't good, then I'm gonna have a talk with Mia. So tell me like what your everyday skincare routine looks like. What's your normal go-to? I don't think you'd be really happy with my morning routine, but on our nightly routines, uh, we alternate between cleansing, obviously. Okay, so what cleanser do you use? We use the Inkylos <gasps> Oh, nice. You guys know this one. I've talked about this one on my channel so much. Do you know what salicylic acid does? I just kind of use whatever she <laughs> tells me to use, but I know it's good for treating acne in particular. Yes. Hey, he knows his ingredients, guys. Yes. Okay, um, what do you use next? If it was a morning routine, which I don't do because I'm always in a rush, I'm okay. supposed to be doing, we use a Selfless by Hiram, wow. the salicylic acid. Okay, so if you're using this during the daytime, I don't recommend using this right. cleanser because right. doing two salicylic acid treatments is like a lot. Do you use any other cleansers besides that one or just that um, one? We did use the Selfless by Hiram one, but we oh. go through that really fast. Oh, really? So it's also like, I think our favorite one, so I'm always like reminding oh. myself. <laughs> But yeah, I would say this one is great to use during the daytime, especially when you're surfing. He's like a pro surfer. I recently, oh, <laughs> yeah, you are. I hope when you go surfing, you wear sunscreen, right? I have been, yes. Okay, okay thank yes. God. We use the Super Goop. Oh, This is my okay. favorite one. Actually, I do like have preferences yeah. now for sunscreen. I do like that matte finish to it, so it doesn't feel really oily. Yes, it's 100% mineral sunscreen, which I really like, yeah. considering that you do go in the ocean right. pretty frequently. So. Yes, and we do have Oh, this is like my favorite one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, which between these two do you like the most? I really liked this one just because okay. of the way it feels after. Mm -hmm. Like that matte. Do you use a moisturizer? Yes, I always oh, use you do? the Cetaphil oh, moisturizer. Nice. Okay, this yes. is the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. Um, it came from your closet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you notice yourself like struggling with like shininess on your skin, then this mm -hmm. one might be a little bit too thick. But the nice thing about this one is that it's just like a simple ingredient list, really basic, no fragrance, and super affordable. I'm not horrified yet, except for the sunscreen screen part. Yeah. That did yeah. freak me out a little bit. We're doing good so far. You got your cleanser, you got your treatment, you got your moisturizer, and you got your sunscreen. That's like the four most important steps. This is a huge improvement compared to when I like first met you. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what your nighttime routine. Okay, so we alternate every other day. So on oh, Monday, Wednesday, system. Friday. Okay. I start with cleansing. Yes. And then we use the mandelic acid. Hey. And 
I promise I did not endorse any product placement in this right. video. <laughs> so you use the mandelic acid exfoliant. Do you know just in general like what that word means? I like to think it kills off dead skin cells. Yeah, basically, yeah. It makes your skin shed it's skin cells so you don't look crusty. Yeah. You don't break out. <laughs> I like the system. Tuesday, Thursdays is retinol rainbow algae. Okay. That's awesome. See, this is my favorite one. Not only really? what it does, I just like how it feels. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm about to break out. I have like something small and I just stay consistent with my routine. It mm -hmm. doesn't even pop up like the really <laughs> bad breakouts or anything. So oh, good. I really okay. like the whole. Okay. And then our Saturday, Sunday routines is just cleansing and moisturizing. Okay. So we kind of reset for the week. Wow, I'm very yeah. impressed. <laughs> Bravo, my man. I was yeah. fully expecting to like come in and just like roast your skincare routine to pieces and leave you crying. But you know, there's still time. You are welcome to raid my closet yeah. for <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Everyone Thank give you. a round of applause in the comment section. Love you, but oh, I fully I expect <laughs> so much worse. <laughs>
Hi guys, so I am sitting here with none other than the iconic, the legendary man himself, Tim. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm the editor, one of the editors here at Selfish Studios. I'm ready to get roasted. <laughs> I let you know a little bit about like what we're going to be doing, how I'm roasting straight men's skincare routines because, you know, y'all need some help. I do, definitely. <laughs> Tim is an amazing editor. Any of the videos that you guys watch, Tim edits and does an absolutely incredible job. Tim also has a YouTube channel that you guys should go check out go watch his videos i will have it linked in the comment section down below but it's street photography in hawaii thank you first of all for being willing to be roasted i need it <laughs> i promise everything that's going to happen within the next 15 minutes just erase it from your memory <laughs> <laughs> what has your experience with your skin taking care of it not taking care of it what does that look like throughout the course of your life so i first got my First zit in sixth grade, right in the middle of my forehead. So the first thing I do is pop it. Mm -hmm. Can't go to school with a zit on my forehead. You know, that's the time when you're like slowly talking to girls or, you know, trying to. And so it was a uh, start. No. Did you like continue to have like breakouts? So it just started off with like one zit at a time. And I would use the hand soap, you know, like the body. <laughs> I don't know what. It would just make my skin completely dry. Oh, yeah. And so that's why I thought like, okay, it's clean. Going to high school, it was very bad. But it was probably because like I like popped so many on my face. Oh, no, yeah. You know what? The things you described, I feel like we have all done. Because you're like panicking. You're just mm. like, I need to get it off my face right now. Popping it, using whatever you need to. Like I always use body wash on my face growing up. Okay, and then how has your skin been since then? Acne would just occur like if I don't get enough sleep mm -hmm. or stress. Mm -hmm. And it's just mostly like in the chin area. In seventh grade, there was this girl mm -hmm. that was really into me. We would talk. Nice. And then one week, nice. I had just had a really bad breakout. And then she told my friend, like, oh, I'm not into Tim anymore. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. People who judge other people by how their skin looks, if they have, like, breakouts and acne and stuff like that, just shut the f*** up. So now I want to see your skincare products. I want to see the products you use on a day-to-day -day basis. I do my skincare process when I shower. Oh, okay. Consistency. Though. We love to see it. I I'm, so I'm ready. <laughs> is this? Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Oh, it's a scrub. scrub it's a scrubber. Oh, it's a scrub. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why do you like this product? It's just a scrubber. So I've always used scrubbers okay. since acne is still on my face, just because it feels like the oil is all off. Mm. Um, okay, you can get out. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys really like scrubs. Using a scrub is nice because you get like that satisfying, like soft mm. skin afterwards. It feels like you're really clearing out your pores. Do you use this every day? Every night. Okay. I would try the Pure I mean, <laughs> at least you're not using it twice a day. Yeah. Let me look at these ingredients first. Okay, so, oh, oh. It has walnut shell in it. Walnut shell powder, which, you know, powder is better because that means it's very finely milled. Okay, let me feel the consistency of this because not every scrub is created equal. Some are a little bit more gentle than others. Okay, so this one is more... It's more on the rough side, I will say. I'd say scrubs are best used, like say once a week, maybe for you like twice a week. But I actually recommend chemical exfoliators, which are ingredients that dissolve the dead skin cells on the face, but they're gentle enough to get all the dead skin cells off, but not damage the fresh skin cells underneath. So while you don't necessarily get that like, you know, type of experience and then immediately afterward it's good. If you use one overnight, then when you wake up in the morning, your skin is way more soft, it's way more refreshed. It's just overall a much more healthy experience for your skin versus a scrub. I would say don't use that. I actually <laughs> haven't used it within the past month. Oh really? So I use okay. it for my feet now. Yeah, that's the perfect use for a scrub. And you're not just like wasting the product yeah. by throwing it away, you're yeah. actually using it. Ugh. Okay, round of applause for 10. I withhold my judgment now. I'm taking it back. <laughs> Reverse, rewind. Okay, next product. This is something that I've been using like past three months. Okay. Got this from here. Oh, <laughs> yes. The Dermy E Sensitive Cleanser. This one's a good one. There's sensitive skin line because it really makes sure that your skin isn't going to be red, irritated, sensitized. You're just editing yeah. like this guy won't shut the f up about cleansing. <laughs> okay, I just need I'll to use it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> Can we all just commend Tim real quick for having to like watch my face and me blab on about 
skincare products for like hours a day. That takes another level of mental strength that I don't think I have. It has good hydrating ingredients. Oh, it has a bark extract that helps to reduce oiliness on the skin. It's great that you're not just using a scrub, you're using a cleanser. I love this. It's feeling really good so far. This is the last product. Okay, the last I've one. I only started using this maybe a month ago and basically because I'm learning through your videos. I hope it's I the product like I think it is. I, I hope it's oh, the it's category so of product. This one. Hey! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, this is a True Skin Daily Moisturizer. Here's the good things about it. It has vitamin C in it, which helps to like brighten any dark spots. It has vitamin B5, which is also a great ingredient for really helping with the health and the support of the skin's barrier. This has a lot of really good ingredients. So I actually like this product. Let me tell you why I was so disappointed when I realized what this product was. It's not a sunscreen. Right. Do you wear sunscreen? I don't wear sunscreen. Oh. <laughs> 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 ignore all the positive things. I said I'm done with you. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I get it. You know, sunscreen is not fun to use. It's actually like what I call the chore of the skincare routine because a lot of other skincare products can feel nice. You don't really notice they're there. It's not a big deal. But with sunscreen, a lot of times you're just like, oh, I don't want to have to apply it. It feels greasy. It feels heavy. It leaves my face white. Do you at least wear sunscreen when you go to the beach? Uh, yeah. I rarely go out. <laughs> just inside editing all day. <laughs> I'll just be brutally honest. It is important to wear sunscreen. And I don't know if you've heard me say this in my videos before, but I would rather someone just use a sunscreen and not use any other stuff right. in their skincare routine than have a whole skincare routine and not use a sunscreen. And that's really fucking harsh. I know, I feel like I'm such a bitch right now. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you like four of my favorite sunscreens for you to try. Try to integrate it into your routine when you can. If not, whenever you come into the office, I'll just apply it for you. <laughs> you just feel like hands come behind uh, you and just slowly <laughs> start yeah. But honestly, knowing what you used to do with your skincare routine versus what you do now, those are really, really good steps. I'm actually really proud of the progress that you've made. So don't cry. <laughs> I've heard worse. I'm just laughing because I mean, I feel so guilty, bro. No, but seriously, thank you so much for coming on my channel and being willing to be roasted to absolute filth. I really appreciate it. What do you guys think? Wow, that was an adventure and that was so much fun to film. Honestly, shout out to the guys that were featured in this video. They were such good sports and I love them to death. They're literally some of my favorite people on the planet. Even though there was some roasting involved, at the end of the day, I am proud of anyone who is taking the time and energy to take care of their skin. Props to them. Give them a round of applause in the comment section down below. Let me know down below what you thought of their skincare routines, how they did and show them some love in the comment section because it takes a lot of guts to come on camera and show your skincare routine to a judgmental bitch. <laughs> if you guys are interested in getting of the products that they mentioned in their routines, I will have all the links in the description box below. I make a small commission from those links that helps to support my channel. So if you want to check them out, they're there for your reference. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. I just try to think of it as like, they're just bored. A lot of people don't see social media like how creators do. Like, mm -hmm. We see it as like our work, like we really try to connect with that person one-on-one, -on -one, but most other people just want to have fun. Okay, I guess I'll try to have fun with you too, you know, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I know, I know, I know they mean no harm. One thing that really helped me a lot was like lurking a lot of these haters. They're just like kids. They're like nine, <laughs> 10 years old. Yeah. Are you even allowed to be on TikTok? <laughs>